In the last episode, we were introduced to JJ Green, the newest member of the GWS Giants. Today, our journey continues. We've got round number two. It was a big debut for JJ and a big time win for the Giants to kick off our journey. But today we hit the road. It's time for JJ and the Giants to head to Perth to take on the West Coast Eagles in round number two of our career mode journey. Let's get into the video. Here it is, JJ and the Giants. Yes, so welcome back to the channel, guys. We have got episode two of our JJ Green series. We're coming off a pretty good win in our first game. JJ had a really nice game as well, kicked a goal. And man, actually it was really good. I mean, good in the midfield in his first game. I've said before and I'll say it again. If JJ doesn't perform, man, he has to go down into the two. So today it doesn't get any easier. Yes, West Coast have been struggling, but we are heading across to Perth to take on the West Coast Eagles, which should be a big time matchup for us to try and go two and O. Oh. So we did beat Adelaide in uh, Sydney. It was a big time win for us. Uh, JJ in his debut game and man if you guys are new to the channel this is a manager plus my player career series so we're going to be following the journey of JJ as we coach and manage the GWS Giants so it should be a lot of fun um, we've also got an Essendon series on the channel we've got an NBA series on the channel so go check that out uh, this is I mean it, it doesn't get any really bigger than this starting your journey our first away game as a my player slash coach career so this should be a lot of fun so here it is, the Giants and the Eagles. Now, the West Coast Eagles have not won a game. We've won one. We're going for our second win of the year. So we're going with an unchanged team uh, today, which should be... I mean, you always want to go to games unchanged, and especially starting the year, you want to try and build some continuity uh, with your teams. Here come the Giants out onto Perth. Optus Stadium. Man, this is a beautiful stadium. They played the grand final here a few years ago. And here come the West Coast Eagles, who have been struggling. I seen a stat the other day. West Coast, VFL, women's, and AFL team won a combined uh, total of four games in 2023. So we definitely don't want to be losing today. But let's get straight into it. Here we go. The highlights. The Giants and the Eagles from Optus Stadium. JJ Green, let's do it. So we did start with an end-to-end -end camera, and you guys will see that we did change it up. JJ already into the thick of it early on here. But man, West Coast... Tell you what, on their home deck, it looks like there's more Giants fans here. What is going on? But you guys, look, JJ came across and did spoil this. But what is JJ doing? Man's going out. Man's has gone seen the crowd. He's gone through the fence. And West Coast have the first goal of the afternoon. And man, West Coast ball movement was really good in this game. And I tell you what, a full strength West Coast, you definitely can't roll up and expect a win. Because look at Liam Ryan. Liam Ryan over the top, over the pack. Have a look at this hanger. That was huge. I don't know how we did mark that, but man, West Coast ball movement. We spoiled it down, went straight to the Eagles, and this is too easy. On the road, you don't want to give a team a lead, and that's what we've done here. Two straight 12 plays zero, and West Coast not done yet. Their ball movement was really startling us. I mean, Adelaide didn't do this to us last week. And here go West Coast again. They roll in. Ball goes out the back. How did that one get out the back? I do not know. Inside 50, we're under so much pressure at the moment. Haynes can't spoil, and West Coast have three. The first three goals of the match go in the way of the West Coast Eagles. And they are well and truly on top of us at the moment. Three straight plays, zero here. In the middle we go. Cali gives it out to Whitfield. Whitfield runs. Whitfield inside 50 with an opportunity. And Tom Green on the lead. So Tom Green and JJ had really good games in round one. And Tom Green kicks our first. So finally we get on the board. Finally we're back in this game. Here come the Giants. But man, Liam Ryan was just... Absolutely unreal in this first quarter. Taking big time marks and a 50 meter penalty. Are you kidding me? A 50 meter penalty. Easy one for Liam Ryan and he kicks a goal. So West Coast have four goals in this opener and they're well and truly all over us at the moment. We need to get rolling. We need to get rolling fast. JJ has, I mean, hasn't really seen too much of the ball, JJ. But here we go here. JJ running in. Opportunity for goal. And he misses to the left hand side. That would have been a good start for us. Tell you what, West Coast definitely came to play here, but man, they're struggling to get out of their back line, and Canelio, he took the mark, and you've got to kick this goal. You have to kick this goal, and it hits the post. Man, oh man, our opportunities we had in this first quarter. We probably should have had three goals. West Coast lead us at the quarter time break. 
Got some work to do. We definitely have some work to do. You definitely don't want to be losing to West Coast, especially they've won four games in, what, 2023? That's just not good enough, man. 1-2-8, plays four straight 24 in the first quarter. JJ Green has been okay. I mean, he's been okay. You can see here the goal kickers. Tom Green, our only goal kicker. JJ has four disposals. Hopefully, he can get rolling in this second quarter, and we can get on moving. But, man, we've got to set the tone, and we've got to set the tone fast. I said set the tone and have a look at this from JJ. So West Coast trying to move the ball out here. JJ gets tackled this time. We pick it up. Here you go. I tell you what. I tell you what. Set the tone. Set the tone. Look at JJ come across. Man's come flying in. And he up. He, I mean, Elliot Yo had nowhere to go. But man, West Coast again. Their ball movement. And I tell you what. Their pressure. Have a look at this. We try to get the ball out. We turn the ball over. And West Coast have five. This is getting ugly. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Five straight plays, one, two. They're doing all they want at the moment. They've got numbers absolutely everywhere here. And they've got another opportunity to go inside 50. They go inside 50. We can't spoil. And now they go again. I thought he was going to go for goal here. So I felt like our back line definitely uh, settled. And this is too easy. This is way too easy. A snap towards goal. And West Coast have six of them. Six straight plays, one, two. Make it 6-1. Here they go again. Their ball movement definitely... We were startled, man. I mean, on the road, struggling. We can't be like this on the road. And West Coast are moving the ball. They go inside 50. And Oscar Allen is all alone. You can't allow a player like this just to sit in the forward line all by himself. And he should not miss from here. It is a West Coast avalanche at the moment. Oscar Allen kicks the goal. 7-1 plays 1-2. We need to respond. We need to respond now. Canelio inside 50. Here we go. Toby Green's got it. Man, on the eve of halftime, we need this. And Toby Green kicks it. God, oh God, did we need that goal. Hopefully, this can get us going for this second half because it's been a disappointing half from us. Cali, little handball across, and that is almost going to do it. So, 2-2-14, two, two, plays 7-1-43 to close the first half. It is all West Coast. Got some work to do. I mean, I did not expect this to be the scoreline at halftime, but it is. And we need to respond. And we need to get going now. So 2-2 plays 7-1. Canelio, he's been good for us. JJ had a really, really uh, quiet quarter, that that one. I mean, he set that tone with that big, big time tackle, but we need a lot more. 2-2 plays 7-1. Here we go. Second half underway. And we need a little bit of brilliance. Look at Cali. A beautiful steal and goal. So finally, we're starting to get rolling here. This was beautiful from Mark Cali. I mean, Andrew, I think it might have been. Uh, Elliot Yo again. He turns the ball over. Thought it was Andrew Gaff and Cali run in and Cali kicked the goal. I thought this could have been the start of something. It's a 23-point game. West Coast moving the ball well. This is a big-time mark, and we're trying to switch the ball, trying to get aggressive here. Should mark this. Can't mark it at the fall of the ball. West Coast, it is all falling for him at the moment. It is all falling for him. It's back out to a 29-point game. 8-1, plays 3-2. It is all West Coast. Perryman loaded up from outside 50 here. Had a chance to get it going, and it went through for a behind. But man, oh man. We are in some strife. Big time mark from Tom Green. Gives it across to Toby Green. Briggs, where's he going with it? Here is Tom Green again. Should it miss from here? And he has. Tom Green has to kick that goal. And on the eve, this was this is actually on the three-quarter time siren. And I'm not going to lie, guys. I thought Cadman was right-footed. So I'm loading this up as a right-footer. This is a new move. And Cadman misses to the right-hand side, man. We have so much work to do in this final quarter. 3 4 to 8 one It is all West Coast, but you can't give this one up. And, man, JJ Green was so, so quiet in that quarter. I mean, I felt like they put someone on JJ because I don't even think he touched the footy in that quarter. We need so much more out of JJ if we're going to win this game. It's up to him to set the tone. It's up to, I mean, it's up to our leaders. Final quarter underway. West Coast, go inside 50. Allen! How, I mean, was that in the back? Could have been in the back. I mean, I know he didn't use his hands, but man, West Coast are using us as step ladders at the moment. They go inside 50. Again, another mark. Another opportunity. And here we go. West Coast all over the Giants. But I tell you what, this is where the switch flicked. This is where we start to get moving here. 9-1 plays 3-5. Here we go. West Coast, our pressure went up. And look what happens when pressure goes up. Opportunities get created. Kelly for number two. Man, we need that. 
11 minutes. Can we get back in this game? 4-5 plays 9-1. Callum Ward here. Inside 50. And it's the man. It's JJ. Finally, JJ Green takes a mark. And he has an opportunity here to kick the goal. Man, do we need this. JJ, should it miss? He doesn't. Here come the Giants. It's a 20-point game. Seven minutes on the clock. Time is against us. JJ kicks it. Man, did we need that. Here we go inside 50 again. At the fall of the ball. Here we go. Handball goes down. West Coast turnover. Kelly handballs. Green. 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 Got it. Here we come. The Giants won't give this one up. Perryman running in. This was another great passage of play. And Perryman drills it. With five minutes to go, we are fighting back in this game. It is all GWS. Callan Ward got tackled. Bedford running in. Bedford loads up. Cadman can't mark. And we're going to get a throw in. So the throw in. 7-5-9-1. Got to apply pressure. Look what happens when you apply pressure. Toby Green, the captain. It's a two-point game. Two-point game. And we have a chance. Here we go. Kelly. Bedford. Out the back. Whitfield. Whitfield picks it up. He gets tackled. And West Coast. They are lowering their eyes. They are staying in. Briggs can't mark. We still have time, though. Got to turn this one over here. We do. Iden's got it. Got to go. Got to go fast. Goes up. Looking, 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 looking. Can't mark. And JJ gets tackled. So JJ had a big last quarter. But we couldn't complete the comeback. 8-5-9-1. What a game of footy, man. This was a great game of footy. I mean, we played so poor, though, in those first three quarters. And we kind of deserve what we got. 9-1-55 to 8-5-53. Oh, man. Oh, man. JJ definitely came alive in that, in that final quarter. He was so quiet in probably quarter two and three. He finished uh, with a goal. And, I mean, I mean, 13 disposals is good. But, I mean, to have only six touches at three-quarter time... Man, it was on shaky boots. But we do lose this one. A lot of growth, a lot of learnings from this. You can't come out on the road and expect to get the job done. It doesn't matter whoever you're playing. I mean, you could be playing West Coast. You could be playing Richmond. You've got to come out and play the exact same way. West Coast get the job done. They too good today. But we'll be back. So we fought a one-on-one -on, -one on the season. JJ kicked the goal. Pretty happy with how we went in this one in the final quarter. But, man, we need so much more out of JJ. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit that like button, man. Got a new series starting on Monday. Stay blessed.